Hey everyone, this is Dan with Easy Worship. With the recent popularity in live streaming, I wanted to give you guys a video of how to live stream your service to either Facebook or YouTube using Easy Worship and a live streaming service called OBS. I know there's a lot of churches out there that have never done a live stream before, and so I just wanted to give you an easy way to set this up for your church to be able to do that. There's just, just a few steps uh, that I'm going to walk you through to be able to get this done. So the first step you want to do to be able to live stream through uh, OBS is to download and install the OBS software. It is a free software. So what you're going to do is go to obsproject.com. And on that page at the very top you'll see three buttons to download. There is a Mac version and a Linux version, but since I'm running Windows on this computer, I'm going to click on the Windows button to download that. So once you click on the button, it's going to start downloading. Once that's finished downloading, you can run the software. I'm going to go ahead and load it here. I've got another screen, so they keep popping up over there, but it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to say yes. All right, and then the software will start to install. So you'll just click next on the screen, click next again, and then just click install. And when the software is finished installing, you should get an OBS icon on your desktop that you'll be able to open the program. Now once this completes the installation, we should be able to just launch OBS uh, from that finished screen as well. So we'll see here in just a moment. Yeah, so on the finish page, there's an option uh, checkbox to launch OBS Studio. So we'll go ahead and keep that checked and open it up when we click finish. Now you will have an OBS icon on your desktop as well so that you can open it in the future. You will get a prompt for the auto configuration wizard. We do want to do this but not right now so I'm going to go ahead and click no that I don't want to go through it right now and then you'll get a prompt that says you can run it at any time from the tools menu. So I'll click OK. Now we're going to come back to this in just a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and then we're going to set up easy worship with a feed from a camera and the lower thirds to be able to put the text on the lower thirds of that screen. Alright now we have easy worship open and we're going to set up a feed from our camera and then we're going to set up a theme that has the lower thirds text on the slides so that you can have the song lyrics or scriptures on the lower thirds with your feed in the background. So to be able to do that when you open Easy Worship you can go to the media tab and then go to the feeds on the left. From here we're going to right click in the feeds library and click add new feed. This brings up the feed editor from here I'm going to give it a name. I'll just type in OBS. That's the name of the streaming software that we're going to use. And then under input device I'm going to select my camera. So I'll select my camera there and we should see a live feed. I just have it pointing out my window. So you can see movement out there. This is a live feed. Easy Worship will automatically detect the best settings for that camera under the device options and the aspect ratio. So from here I can click OK. And then we see the feed in the preview window. So now we're going to set this up as a theme so that we can create a lower thirds text. Now to do that you're going to right click on the feed and then select copy to theme and you can choose either song theme, scripture theme, or presentation theme. I'll actually create a song theme right now. 
And I'll go ahead and create a scripture theme because we might use this for scriptures as well. All right, so now we're going to go over to themes. And under the song theme, we can see the theme that was created. So I'll right click on that theme and click edit song theme. Now if I want the text on the lower thirds, all I have to do is click in the text box and drag that top of the text box down to the lower thirds of the screen and click OK. Now I'm going to go to the scripture theme and I can see my OBS theme here as well. If I right click on that and edit scripture theme, I can click in the text box and drag the top of that text box down to the lower thirds and click OK. Now if you wanted to, if you had some alpha channel videos for lower thirds, you could also add those as elements onto the theme as well. That way you have maybe a background flowing or something behind your text at the bottom of the screen. So now that we have the theme set up, I'm going to go to the Songs tab. Oh, one thing I forgot. Go back to Themes. I'm going to make the Song theme and the Scripture thing theme my default. So I'll right click on the theme and set as default Song theme. Then I'm going to go to Scripture and right click on it and set it as my default Scripture theme. So now if I go to the Songs tab, I can drag and drop songs into my schedule. And I can go to Scriptures and drag Scriptures into my schedule. And they'll be using that default theme. Now the reason this song did not have that background or that theme is because this song already has a default theme set to it or has a different theme. So I can go to the song themes and drag and drop the theme that I want onto that song. Now if I go live, by clicking go live, you can see I've got the text on the lower thirds of my live feed. Alright, now that we have the lower thirds text set up in Easy Worship on the live feed, I'm going to walk you through how to get your live stream from OBS into your Facebook Live. Alright, so now you'll want to go to your Facebook page and on your profile page you'll click Live Video. Once that window comes up, you'll have some different options to select from. Choose how you want to create your live video. We're actually not going to be using the camera or the microphone and I'm going to actually change this to use stream keys. Alright, so once you get that setting, there are other settings here that you can uh, set as far as stream and viewing, um, but I'll let you go through those. Those are going to be specific uh, for however you want to uh, send that stream through your Facebook page. What we really want here is the stream key. So it's a very long key. All you have to do is click copy and that copies it to your clipboard. So at this point now we can go back to the OBS software. So what we'll do now is we're going to go to the tools menu and do the auto configuration wizard. This is what we bypassed at the beginning when we installed the program. When we open that, we're going to optimize for streaming and click next. This is normally going to be set automatically. You can make changes to this if you want. I'm going to keep the defaults and click next. Under the service, we're going to drop that down 
and we're going to choose Facebook Live. And at this point it asks for the stream key. This is what we copied from the Facebook page. So here I can right click in the box and click paste. Then I'm going to click next and it's going to do a test. Actually I'm going to go back to Facebook real quick and show you that under your under the live settings on the left of this screen you can change this option to show only to me that way when it does the test it's not showing that to everybody in your feed so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes because I'm the only person that's gonna be able to see this test and it'll just take a moment uh, maybe a less than a minute or so to be able to do this test and when it's finished it's gonna come back and tell you that it's ready for the live stream alright so I can apply the settings it set up all that for me automatically now what I want to do is create a source so under the sources I'm gonna click the plus button and we're gonna do a display capture so on the display capture I can just create a new display capture I'm just gonna leave the name the same as it is and click OK alright so this shows my desktop screen I actually want it to show well it's on the correct screen I want it to show display one if I open easy worship and turn my live output on alright now you can see that it is displaying my live output from easy worship so I'll click OK and that is my display capture now all you have to do is click start streaming now if we go back to Facebook you can see that it's ready to go all you have to do is change this back to friends from only me or how, whoever you want to send it to and then click go live and that's gonna send your live feed from easy worship to Facebook live now any changes you make in easy worship are gonna show up on your on your live screen I'm not actually gonna go live right now but I'm gonna change a couple of slides there is a little bit of a delay but anybody watching your Facebook live is not even gonna notice the delay so once you change the slides you'll see those change on your Facebook live you can see that in the bottom right corner if I go live to one of my scriptures we'll give it just a moment here to update so there it updated to the second slide of the song and now it updated to the scripture alright so we've got it set up on Facebook live we set up easy worship for the lower thirds text over the live feed and then we sent the live output to OBS and we captured that in OBS set up the um, display and set it up through Facebook live with the stream key alright next we're gonna show you how to set it up for YouTube to go live through YouTube so now I've got my YouTube channel open and we're gonna set up YouTube to be able to uh, stream to from OBS and easy worship so on your YouTube channel in the top right corner you're gonna click on the camera icon and then click go live now once you get to this page it opens up the YouTube studio and we're not gonna use a webcam so I'm gonna click stream at the top of the window here I'm gonna create a title I'll just call it stream and we're gonna go public with it we don't want to schedule it for later I'm just gonna do it right now I'm not actually gonna go live with this you'll just see it in the preview 
I'm not going to upload a custom thumbnail and then I'm going to select no it's not made for kids and then I'm going to click create stream now once you get to the manage page uh, you'll get a stream key just like we did on Facebook so I'm going to copy the stream key so where it says stream key click copy and now I'm going to go back to the OBS software go to the tools menu and auto configuration wizard again we're going to optimize for streaming click next I'm going to keep those settings and click next I'm going to click the drop down and change this to YouTube now I'm going to delete out the stream key that was there by selecting it just highlight it delete it and then I'm going to right click and paste in the new stream key for YouTube and then click next alright so it's gonna run a test just like Facebook did now if you're doing this instead of Facebook what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and create your display capture as well so everything we did except for copying the stream key from Facebook and entering that in you're gonna do the same thing for YouTube you're gonna except you're gonna get the stream key from YouTube and paste it in and select YouTube as your stream all right, so I'm going to apply the settings. Now if I open Easy Worship and turn my live output back on, and then in OBS I can see that is my preview. Once I'm ready, I can click Start Streaming. I can minimize OBS, click Done on YouTube, and in the top left corner we can see a preview of that stream once it pops up here and again there is a delay but anybody watching the stream is not gonna know that there's a delay on that stream alright so you can see that there I'm gonna bring easy worship back up and we'll change a couple slides so we have YouTube over here and then in Easy Worship, I'm going to go back to 10,000 Reasons, even though there's a lot of text on the slide there. We'll send that one live and see what that looks like. So once it updates, we'll see the text there for that song. And there it is. All right, so super simple to set that up through OBS. Again, it's a free software that you can download. This way, you can have the text over this over your live feed if you don't even want text you can go live straight to the camera feed itself also if you want to display your presentation slides PowerPoint slides anything that you have in easy worship all you have to do is go live to it in easy worship and that's what you're gonna see on your Facebook stream or your YouTube stream thanks for watching we'll see you later